Hello everyone, we are Team 9, my name is Merton Takaj and in the first part of this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the application in general and in the second part of this video I'm going to show you the application itself. Um, basically, our main exercise was to create a paracetamol overdose pathway application which means a form which can be filled in by a doctor whose patient might have experienced a paracetamol overdose. The application collects the inputted information, then predicts the paracetamol concentration in the blood of the patient, and then suggests an appropriate set of treatments for the patient. And once the form is done, it summarizes the results and displays on the platform of the web application. And the requirements you need to use it is internet connection and a browser which supports HTML5. And also it's better if you have a bigger screen, uh, like a PC or a laptop, because uh, it just looks nicer and I think it's just a little bit more convenient to use. So, uh, the application has two parts. One is the backend part, which is a PHP RESTful API, and one is another part, which is which are HTML pages. This is the frontend part. The main idea behind this was we wanted to create a general solution, so later not just the web application can use it, so it can be used in the future by iOS applications or Android applications as well. That's the main idea. So the, the task of the API is to validate the incoming data, then process it, then create an output, and then send this output to the HTML pages. The main, main task of the HTML pages is to collect the data from the user, send it to the API, then display the API's answer in a user-friendly way. It is very important that the HTML pages don't contain any logic. They don't have any logic. All the logic is the API. So the technology behind the API is, is actually it's written in, in PHP. We used PHP 7 and we also used a Laravel 5.2 framework and also we installed it on a other web server. Uh, and we also used jQuery as a framework and these small plugins to make the UI a little bit more user-friendly. Now I want to talk a little bit about the communication. So basically these are post requests. So the UI sends post requests to the API and then the API sends back an answer uh, as a JSON, in a JSON format. The main achievements were to collect and validate the input information to predict the paracetamol concentration in the blood of the patient, suggest an appropriate treatment and doing these tasks by creating a general API which can serve multiple plat platforms in the future and also to create a nice and clean user-friendly web application. Okay, so this is the application itself. As you can see, it's a web page and this is just a opening screen. So first we should click on the start new form button to start it. Uh, in the first page, you just have to fill some information about your uh, patient. His name can be John, and first day can be, uh, let's say that John is a young guy. Here we go, and this, it's the NHS number of him, and the uh, ingestion time was, was yesterday, uh, let's say, at 8 o'clock. You can see that this timeline uh, was updated. It just shows you where uh, your patient is situated. And now I click on the next button to go to the next page. And as you can see, it throws an error because uh, the NHS number must be exactly eight digits, to be honest. So I filled it in. And now I click on the next button and it puts us to the next page. This is about the initial blood test. This is the composer, the required field, and these are not required. These are just for other information. All right, and the personal concentration blood test was taken, let's say, yesterday we had, uh, at, let's say, 11 o'clock. Here we go. And now I click on the next button. And now it shows a, a pop-up page which says that the treatment is not reliable because there wasn't enough time between the ingestion time and the blood test time. I process it anyway. So, on the treatment line page, 
here I can I can select the the concentration of the paracetamol in the blood of the patient. Let's say it's I don't know some a little bit more than 200 milligrams per liter, and as you can see, this it predicts the the concentration of the paracetamol concentration uh, in the blood of the patient uh, in the future. And let's click on the next button. And now here we go. That the uh, the treatment page. The John is seven years old, and now I can select uh, his weight in kilograms or in pounds. As you can see, it automatically updates itself. So if I choose it in pounds, then it updates it in uh, kilograms as well. And now I can go to the first infusion. That's the that here are some information about the first infusion. So this is the the treatment of the first overdose. And these are the treatments. And now I can go to the next page by clicking on the next button. And this is just some final blood tests. If, if there was taken any final blood test uh, after the treatment, then you can fill this in. But uh, let's say it wasn't. So I click on the next button after that. Finally, that's the last page, which summarizes all of the input the information and the results. And now it's done, so now you can submit the form. You can submit it, and well, that's it. I hope you liked it, and thanks for watching this video.